someone needs to replace these gussets with these. Okay. Trout. Why? Help. Because it's big and sneaky. Also, <laughs> these holes, whoever's working with this before, these holes should not I'm be used. I'm not Because we need oh, those are the first <laughs> three inches. <laughs> we need the first three, three <laughs> inches oh, no, correct. of this tube to be clear. So we need to secure them. Don't eat them. That would cause a lot of damage. So, quick electronics update. Uh, we got the belly pan on, so now we're mounting on the electronics. We have uh, eight motors, so we have we're gonna need uh, eight motor controllers for them. We're using some sparks, and then since we're using encoders for our elevator, we're using two Talon SRXs. And in order to uh, uh, maximize the space we have here, we're also using a shelf that we built. And most of the things that are that need to be readily accessible will be on the shelf, like the rubber reel, the radio, and then some pneumatics. What's the problem, Dylan? Well, you see, the problem is that before there were wheels here, and uh, you know, there was like open space around where I could put in this retaining ring, shaft collar, whatever you want to call it. And then Jack Sampson and Dylan McDonald made some design changes in which we cut out part of the frame and made a giant, big heck off hole. Which we place these two by ones around, restricting my hand space to proportions similar to that of a raccoon. To add on to that, there is a second two by one, which was moved to the inside. This is going I just have this way. Two big hands. But everyone does. Is it go like this? If you're a raccoon and you want to help, hit me up. Just... <laughs> 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 it's all just...